Hi and welcome to the Introduction to Exterior Lighting Quick Start video for V-Ray for Revit. In this video we'll go over lighting techniques for exteriors, following up on the previous video on lighting interiors. Now I recommend looking through at least that previous video if you haven't already to get you primed on general lighting workflow with V-Ray for Revit. Go ahead and launch your version of Revit. Here we're using 2017. Click open and navigate to the project exteriorlighting.rvt which you can download from this video's tutorial with credit for this Revit model going to Karam Baki. This project was created with Revit 2016 and will upgrade automatically if you open it with 2017. Unfortunately, Versions of Revit before 2016 may have difficulty loading this project. Once the project is loaded, click the V-Ray tab. Go and click on the current view and select the render view. Leave quality to draft and click on resolution and select crop region. Select printer with a DPI of 150 and close the dialog. Change from the V-Ray sun to the dome light which opens the dome light settings. And go to the render with V-Ray drop down arrow here and select render V-Ray RT. The render starts and shows us a plain dome color. So click use HDR image for a more dynamic lighting. Go ahead and experiment with the rotation value to see how the lighting updates. Positioning the HDR is key to getting the kind of lighting you're looking for from your environment. Now let's switch back over to the sun and close out of the dome settings. I'll clean up my workspace a little bit here. In Revit, you can select the render view in the project browser and under the camera section, click edit to change the render settings. You have access to the sun settings by clicking here. Change the azimuth to 180 and click apply and the RT render will update and show a new lighting scheme. Set the altitude to 54 and click apply to get the sun higher in the sky. Now click still to change the sun controls to be purely location and time and date based. Change the month to 6 for June and the time to 10 a.m. and click apply. Feel free to try different settings to get a feel for how this works. But go ahead and come back to these settings for date and time to follow along the rest of this video tutorial and click OK. And that's pretty much it for the exterior environment lighting. Now let's get to work on adding artificial lighting to the render. Click stop in the VFB window to stop the RT render and I'll go ahead and close all these windows. Turn on artificial lights and turn off the sun environment light. Now, one trick to use when evaluating and testing your artificial lighting is to override the materials in the project. Having a uniform material that is applied on everything in the project will give you the best chance to really see how your lighting is working. Click on the Material Browser. Click on the Global Materials tab on the left here and enable Opaque Material Override and also the transparent material override. This will override the materials with a simple gray material that has basic settings, again, to let you more easily evaluate how the light is working in the project. Close the window. Start a new RT render. Now, we will need to adjust the camera, so click on the camera icon here and set your exposure to about five to allow more light into the camera, just like with real cameras. We'll let the render clean up a bit here and evaluate how that looks. As you can see right now, there are a lot of artificial lights that are on. Go ahead and stop the RT render. Now there's several different ways to turn off lights, but we're gonna go ahead and use Revit's built-in light groups. Click on the render view in the project browser. If you zoom into some of these lights and click on them, you can see that they're already set up in light groups. Now, for more on light groups in Revit, Autodesk has really great help sections in their documentation to show you how to set them up and use them. 
So definitely check that out if you're interested in learning more about that in Revit. Let's go to this light and see that's also set up in a light group. We have them all set up for you in this project to make life a little bit easier by using light groups. To control the light groups, click down here on the Show Rendering dialog icon. Now make sure to set Scheme to a setting that includes artificial lighting in the dropdown. I'll select Sun and Artificial Light here. This will enable the Artificial Lights button for us to click. This opens a dialog that gives you access to all of the lighting groups in the project grouped into floors and sections. You can see the light groups and the lights in them as I collapse all these lists here, so we're looking at just the light groups themselves. We can easily enable or disable groups to make it seem like some of the lights are turned off in the render by just clicking the checkboxes to clear them. Now I'm going to turn off a few random lights here, including some lights that you just can't see in this view anyway. That'll of course help with render times. Now, once you're happy with the light groups that you've turned off, click OK and close out of this window too. Switch over to the default 3D view and restart the RT render. I'll bring back the VFB and you can see some of the lights are now indeed off. OK, let's get something in the background. Click on the No Light pull down and select the sun for the environment light. We want to give this a nighttime sky, so this is obviously way too bright since we set the exposure on the camera to 5 earlier. So instead of adjusting the exposure on the camera, I'm going to set the sun intensity to something really small, 0 0.0001. This gives a nice gradient night sky in the background. Now of course you can use an HDR instead of the sun, and that'll look more realistic, especially with a good nighttime HDR image. So. The test RT rendering is coming out like I like it, so I'll stop the RT to start a final rendering. Close the sun settings. Change the quality to medium, but leave the resolution as is. Now, to turn off the material overrides, let's go to the material browser and check these two overrides off and then close the dialog. Select render with V-Ray to kick off the render. We'll go ahead and elapse time here a bit as the progressive render resolves the image cleaner and cleaner over time. You can of course stop the render at any time you wish once you achieve the quality level that you like. And here we are, a very clean rendering after allowing the render to run for a bit. Thank you for joining us for this quick start video on exterior lighting with V-Ray for Revit. Oh.